baca pada mak. The X-Files, Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. Before she, sex for me had been a function, but this first night, I mean, it was a revelation. Mm, it was Wednesday. It was wonderful, you know, and it was more, you know, I was saying it was more than the physical. Well, mm. for you, it was spiritual, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, I was still experimenting with the dosage, so... When well, I first saw G naked, yes. I always compared it to a road, road accident, accident, you know, it's yeah. like, um, a little bit shocking, but you can't help looking. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years on, and he's still moaning. You can choose your friends. What time's that film on that I want to record? But you can't choose your neighbours. It just gives me over an hour to open this packet of videos. She loves you. Of course I listen. They're holding a reunion in London for all the old gang. I think it's time to say goodbye, Victor. You've got to go, Victor. The One Foot in the Grave story, Monday at 8.30, and the final episode at 9.15, BBC One. Telling tales about his dad now on BBC Two, Alan Bennett on teeth, violins and two suits. As a child, I'm always conscious and always guilty that I love my mother more than my father. I'm happier with her than with him, feel easier alone in her company, whereas with him I'm awkward and over-talkative, not the kind of boy, modest, unassuming, unpretentious, that I feel he wants me to be and probably has been himself. In my teens, I become fearful that my mother, and to a lesser extent my father, will die. My concern is not entirely unselfish, what will happen to me is probably at the bottom of it, but it declares itself in an odd fashion. Both my parents have false teeth. Dad has all his teeth out when he's 25, and having been a martyr to toothache for much of his youth, he counts himself well rid of them. With Mum it takes longer, but eventually she has all hers out too. This isn't unusual at the time, having your teeth out almost a rite of passage before entering middle age. But it means that when I'm 14 or so, both my parents have long had false teeth, and called that never dentures. At night, Dad sleeps in his top set, but takes out his bottom teeth and leaves them on the draining board. Mam, who's that much more hygienic, puts her set in a glass, or more often a cup that's lost its handle. They will have given them a perfunctory going over with an ancient brush, but the teeth are never immersed in any cleanser other than water, so that they're always coated in a greyish, lichen-like fur that's very hard to brush off, with Dad's teeth noticeably worse than Mum's, as he's still in those days a smoker. At 14, I become convinced that this coating is a bad thing and that it harbours every known germ and that my parents' health and indeed survival depends on it being removed. So, every night after they've gone to bed, 
I take it upon myself to scrub and swill their teeth to try and rid the place of this grey accretion, noting even then that the proportion of dentures I have to do, i.e. two for mam and one for dad, corresponds with the respective degree of affection I bear, or anyway think I bear, for each of them.